Hey guys, welcome to Waste That Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk that we find um, and we turn it into home decor that we sell or that we keep. This is all gonna go into the shop. Um, we have been cleaning off the back porch at our old shop and turns out I had some pretty good junk that I hadn't done anything with. One was a big, tall, old lamp that needed to be rewired that was kind of falling apart. Zeb will kind of show you what it looked like before we took it apart. And then the other one was a lamp too, but the uh, lamp parts have been long gone and so we just this, have the base. This had a little tabletop on it. Oh, okay. A little glass tabletop oh, I and thought we it was broke a, that. That's right. I thought it was a lamp. It was a table. We broke it and we never found any glass to replace it. So now we're just going to paint it as kind of like some architectural salvage, little trash to treasure. It's got a few dings on the plaster. And then this lamp, it was in okay shape. The whole thing needed rewired. It wasn't going to be functional as a lamp. And really, it's probably not worth my time to rewire it. So we just pulled it apart. This was, I mean, you can kind of see here. It was sitting on this. This, this, this was, it's too tall to even show you here. And then this has basically got a little marble piece. And then it had another piece on there that was broken. Um, had It was like cast iron and all the detail was broken off of it. Uh, and then this was the top. It was actually upside down. And before we... Uh, no, it's the other way. No, it was, it was like this. This was the bulb. And these were flipped up. And I, I, I oh, that's uh, right. inverted it. And then I think we're going to use this and glue that on there. And it could be like a fun little candle holder. Maybe put some molds or something on here. Yeah, so we have had this particular... I know for sure this has been on our back porch since the days of COVID porch drop-off situation where yes. people couldn't go to the thrift store, so they brought us great thrift junk. Thrift stores weren't taking donations, and but so we were. It's been a few years, and it's literally just been rotting away on the back porch, so I'm super excited to get started. We're going to be using paint and products from JanuaryVintage.com, so if you need any of these things for your own junk, you know where to go. Um, I did not properly plan ahead, so I have like no white linen from the cottage color line. But we have vintage mint, paint blue, vintage pink from Cottage Color, and I grabbed white swan um, from the DIY clay base line. So we're going to get started and uh, put some things together. So I'm going to get going right away on this because we want it to get dry. So I just put some hot glue on there to initially stick it down. And then I'm hoping the construction adhesive, ooh, this is really- Yeah, it'll stick. Construction adhesive sticks to metal, sticks to wood. So is this like one of those, like, what is this? I don't know. Is that plaster or is that, you know how they have like those old school label makers? It says Carter Glenn 1973, but it you probably can't see it on the camera. But it's right here and it's like one of those, you know, the label, the plastic ones you put it in and it would like go out the end and you rip it off before oh. they had the digital oh, yeah. label makers. That's I don't think like. it is. I think that looks like it's just a stamp for what it, like, I think that's part of the plaster. Oh. I'm going to see. They, they probably stamped it. But it has like the ridges on it. All right, excess glue coming off because I don't want it all bubbling out the sides. No, it's plaster. That is bizarre. Okay, I'll just leave it. So are we going to leave this on top, this little finial thing? Because this is just going to be like architectural salvage. We can, and that way whoever gets it can... Put a table you know, on it if they want do to. Do something on the top if they want. We'll just okay. send it like that. I'm just filling up this hole with hot glue too. All right, well, I'm just going to start with paint blue on this one while you work on all those situations. Okay. Because this only needs paint. These all need whatever you're going to do to them. <laughs> whatever I'm going to do Whatever to you're going to do to them. So the marble is actually pretty cool. It's polished on the top. It's not on the bottom. There's like some paint or something crusty here. I don't know if it was a repair or what. And I don't even mind the hole in the middle. This piece here is probably going to be about forty nine ninety five when we're all finished with it, which I actually think is what, about what we paid for the table, if I remember correctly, when we broke the glass. But um, yeah, and then these ones, I don't know. It depends on how cool they much. all turn I think turn it was 15 from the thrift store or something. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah. That makes Are me you going to bring better. that gold back through? Oh, yeah. So I'll, before this paint blue dries all the way, I'll bring back the gold through and make it blingy. Make it blingy. Oh man, that's not staying on there. See if there's that's questions. not what I want. Odelia, to Odelia, what are you doing on here? Aren't you at school? She gets out early, so all her classes are short today. She's a senior, you know, as long as she graduates. We're horrible parents. Our motto is C's get degrees. <laughs> 
there's tiger parents, you know, that are like hardcore, make your kids get straight A's. We're just not those parents. Maybe it's because we're slightly artistic. So we're like a little bit more lenient. I don't know. I got A's in school. You got A's in school, but when you went to school, they didn't even have honors classes at your high school in your grade. Let's, let's, let's let That's them. That's because all the classes were hard. <laughs> Actually, they. Uh... Chino Valley was probably the easiest school to graduate from in the entire Tri-City area. Or at least that's what the word on the street was. That but was, that was you the got rumor good grades around. in college too without working. It's just because you're smart. Yeah, I, I was going to say it transferred over to college. So yeah, you're got, just got, smart. got A's there too. You're so humble about it too. I, I'm just saying, like the kids don't, you know. We're just they, stating they, facts. They can work hard. They're plenty smart. They're just getting C's for whatever reason. No, they don't all get C's. Eliza gets straight A's. Harrington had like a three point six. I graduated with a 3.5. Harrington hardly tried. I'm not even sure he showed up much his senior year. No. We're not sure what he was doing or where he was at. All right. So I'm once I get this on here, I'm going to paint it. I'm just – the hot glue is – and the construction he's of everything still hot and uh, not dry. So I'm just trying to – Deb's, I'll just set it aside for a minute. <laughs> Deb's laughing at my C's get degrees. It's true. And I actually feel like our kids, because we don't push them, you know, they do, They all do pretty well. They get good grades. So They're all self-motivated. And we always tell them, whatever you have, you've earned it. And I didn't do it for you because I'm not going to do it for you. And that translates to adulthood. And Harrington's doing amazing. So I feel like it's working. Odelia just rescheduled her own dentist appointment. Our rule at our house is when you're old enough to drive, you're old enough to schedule and drive yourself to all your doctor's appointments. Mommy no longer makes doctor's appointments. I might remind you, which is actually more work than just doing it myself, but I want my kids to be competent enough to handle their own stuff. It's a crazy to me that there's 18 year olds that are living on their own. And their parents are helping them make doctor's appointments. Plus, and my grocery kids, shopping. <laughs> my kids are all so dang busy. Like, I don't want to make an appointment for you because I don't know your life. I can't keep track of it, especially once they start getting when they're in season and sports. It's too crazy. Yeah, I can't keep track of when everybody's practices are hardly. <sighs> all right. We're getting, so, so this base is. I think it's cast iron. It might be cast brass. Because it's it's got a stamp on here, but it doesn't tell me anything. Looks like just a serial number. But I, I'm I'm gonna go with cast brass because even down here where the threads are cut, it's this brassy bronze color. So that's actually pretty cool. I am going to paint it because it's scuffed and scratched and it's got like it's got something else on there that I don't know what it is. I probably <laughs> need to get it wet. a substance of unknown origin. It's just chippy texture at this point. I was just going to say, you guys, if you have been holding out to purchase some of the new IOD that was released last week, we did a pre-recorded video because we were up the mountain and we didn't want you guys to miss out. We are very low um, on the Christmas transfer. Like last night, we were down to 10 and some of the molds have sold out with IOD already. And we are into like the 20-ish quantities on the molds. We so invested we a ton. we pre-ordered what we could from them and they're running out too so. well they're sold out of a lot of the i think if not some if not all of the molds and they're sold out of the transfers too at yeah. iod we invested a ton in this release this is the first time we've ever been a week after a release and still had christmas transfers but we planned ahead because i was like i always feel bad when we run out of stuff and people are just dying for it so we stuck it out and and because you have to order months in advance to be assured quantities and so we stuck it out and had a thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars sitting there waiting for the IOD to come in. And it's paid off because we are still a week later, not yep, quite sold out. Have, we have some. So if you've been wanting it, if you've been seeing it around, um, projects are starting to go up on the, the IOD pages and things. And it's people and are doing incredible things. We haven't even hardly had time to play with it no. or even our own. Like Mara's stencils are out and we have any, we've done like two decoupage products, projects. <laughs> I do want to do one with a Halloween paper with just a bunch of scrap wood and show people how to make cool signs. Cause I think that would be fun. So we have a bunch of old signs that we made and we never framed or did anything oh. with. And I just moved them into the garage like again. That, well, they've got like stuff stenciled on, but it'd be real easy to just, yeah, we'll just do and that. try something new. That'd be fun. They were for Valentine's day and they either didn't sell or we never even got around to posting them. 
that that happens. We, <laughs> that, while we're moving, I'm finding many half finished projects. We found a vanity and a chair that we did for Waste Not Wednesday. That's like legit, completely done. Except for uh, it needs sealed. It just needs to be distressed and sealed and the seat covered. So I was like, okay, we're going to start doing, we're going to start bringing those projects out as furniture sales in the shop. How is the shipping of IOD going? We are almost getting caught up. We had a few people, we had some, we had a rough go of it. So Kate, I don't know if you guys know, but Caitlin's grandma who um, was raised as like, I didn't know she wasn't my grandma until I was like seven. Cause she's my sister's mother-in-law. Um, she just passed away. And so Caitlin was on bereavement. And then um, our, one of our employees had a friend that passed away. Grandma Jean, the, um, she was the one who owned the church that we bought it from. She passed away. Zeb's grandma passed away. Like uh, all in like the last, like, the three last weeks. So it's just been a little bit crazy. We've had people in and out, but I think that they are starting to really get on top of all of the IOD shipping. I know that Maria was there late getting packages out. So I don't know the exact time frame, but if you've ordered from us, it should be shipping very soon, if not already shipped. So I half want to just do like a French country thing on this and and just go white with it and then bring that brass. That back. would be fun. I should preface what I just said by letting you guys know you y'all are awesome. The IOD release was a record breaking day last week. Like we do what we did in half of a month in one day. So they have been shipping like crazy. Yeah. It's it was it was good. And we weren't even around. We were gone. We're like, and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't, we weren't completely like good luck, but yeah, we were out, but you know what we, um, it was great for us, especially cause we just have all these expenses for moving into the church. And then, um, we, summer is typically slow for us. So it was a huge blessing. I was like, yay, <laughs> a little extra fun so that we can finish some projects before the grand opening. So I was super, super grateful for that. All right. This is looking really good. Actually, I think I'm just going to do one coat. Let that dry. That the... That's paint blue. Paint It'll get blue. darker. Yeah. Kathy says, I tried to stress my kids to go into a trade. The world needs more plumbers, like electricians. Only one listen to me. So Harrington Here's the is going to be a nurse. He's going to school next spring. Yeah. Odelia wants to be a teacher. Eliza wants to be a millionaire, although she hasn't figured out quite yet. She told us. She's like, I'm going to be a millionaire by the time I'm 25. So I don't know that I'm going to need school. I'm like okay all right you do you boo because we're not the kind of parents who force our kids into anything you know i, I mean, did little boys i have, I no have a hard time telling her no because jamie and i have had quite a bit of success and neither one of us have a college degree our kids are also very well aware when you do it the way we did it about the amount of blood sweat and tears that goes yeah into they, it. They, they've seen all the hard work and i'm like you know what go to college it might be easier if you see that <laughs> If you see this and you still want to do it, then great. I think Jack will probably take over the business. Maybe, maybe Redrick. Although Redrick paints with his whole body. So we'll see if that improves. He's left-handed, so he's guy, pretty creative. Yeah, he's actually a really good. He likes to draw with pencil. He's for 11, he's doing pretty great. Um, but he, so they were both homesick yesterday, Redrick and Jack. And Jamie and I are trying to move out of the old shop. We have until Friday to finish that. And we get a call after business coaching yesterday. <clears throat> this is not Jack, actually funny. It's not funny. Jack was messing with Redrick through. We have antique doors all through the house. And one of them has a window like this back door. Oh, he was on the other side of it? Yeah. It, we have a, so I don't know if you guys can see this door. It's got a window in it. The one in the playroom has panes. So it's got several small pieces of glass in there. I didn't think anything of it. No big deal, right? No one can put their foot through it or walk through the window. Plenty safe up there. It's, it's like wood framed antique door, super solid. Jack's messing with Redrick to the point where he's getting pretty frustrated. And he, so he went to and tease him. So, and, and Jack's been banging on the glass in that door. And Redrick went to go uh, bang back. And he put his whole arm through that glass panel and right up in here he's got nine stitches now had glass all in his hand grandma's not doing okay with that she's she's she called panicking us. a little bit <laughs> luckily zeb is cool as a cucumber he says redrick needs a few stitches i'm gonna go take him in and i'm i was at the shop with maria and i said well i'll just stay here and finish we're boxing something up and then i'll go home and help grandma clean up the mess 
And Zeb's like, so it's more than just a few stitches. There's fat hanging out. I'm like, oh, no, show. <laughs> and 20 years of parenting. And we've actually never had actual stitches. Harrington once had liquid stitches in his head because he ran into a pole when he was like seven. So we have, I have zero experience with this. I'm like, you better find out like what the recovery is, oh, I know. how long he has to stay out of football. Well, yeah, because you guys had way more stitches than we've had. So. Ty, my brother Ty has probably had a couple hundred stitches. Yeah, we, <laughs> we have been lucky. We have had exactly two broken bones and now one set of big stitches. So luckily, he, he it's only like seven to you said seven, seven to, ten to ten days. Seven to ten days, stitches come out, and, he's and then he can go back to. He's he's sitting there. And oh, I was still using. He's that. he's sitting there getting stitched up. I, I was and the doc, I was still using that. Oh, I'll go here. I'll go get another <laughs> one. And the doctor, he's talking to the doctor. He's just talking about football and stuff. He's like, hey, so when can I get back to practice? Can I just go practice tomorrow or? What's what's the deal with this? Yeah, and <laughs> it's uh, bad enough that the doctor's like, you need to wait the seven to ten days till we get those stitches out. You can still run, but no no tackling or anything like that. I we are because he shouldn't have been banging on it. Uh, we are going to make him earn back because we have a because we're self employed. We just have major medical. We it doesn't cover anything under five hundred dollars. So we have it insured him that he will be working off the three hundred dollars that it cost to take him in and get him patched up. Like, we're glad you're okay, bud, but you gotta old, be smart. He's, uh, he's learning a hard lesson about controlling your temper and uh, also, you know, don't hit glass with your hand. Yeah, especially now we're gonna, I think what we're gonna do is just take all the glass out of it. I might just leave it without glass. Well, or I could put like a plexiglass panel up in there or something. I like being able to see in, but still not have to hear them when they're playing their video games. Can we just <laughs> take the glass out? I guess we could put plexi in there. I don't know. Or we could go get some tempered glass because, you know, I did not expect. It's like four feet off the ground, right? I did yeah, not expect someone to punch the window. Um, Caitlin did just drop a link. If you guys are coming to our grand opening, which is exactly two weeks from today, and you would like to attend a class or be a VIP and attend the uh, class and our Saturday night thrift hall, we do have a few tickets left. And we would love to have you join us as well as Debbie Beard from DIY Paint. Um, we're super excited about that weekend. We're going to be, uh, it's, it's a little busy because it's homecoming weekend. So we will be oh, Friday, Thursday, Friday will be regular hours. Um, Thursday night, we're going to have a class. Friday, we're going to leave because it's the varsity football game for homecoming. Ah! We're going to end at four. And then at 4.30, we need y'all to be gone because we have 20 kids coming over to do pictures. That's going to be crazy. But then we're going to come back. And at 7.30, if you have a VIP ticket, we're going to do a Q&A. There's going to be food. And then you get to be our live studio audience for our Saturday Thrift Hall at the church with Miss Debbie Beard. So it's going to be They're always fun hilarious when we do them with Debbie because they get a little silly and we have a lot of history. And so there's some fun jokes going around. It's always a good time. Kaylin says put tempered glass. Yeah, we might do that. I might take it to Carter's glass and just drop the whole thing off and be like, I'm going to need you to fix this. Well, so I was like, let's just, let's just do a different door right there. And Jamie's like, remember, this is an antique door and you framed it to fit this yeah, it door. It only fits that door. Every single door in this house is framed to fit the door. So you either have to build a custom door or we just need to get that one fixed. So I think we'll just get it um, fixed. Jed and Kate wanted to know when we were going hunting. We actually were gone last week. We were not successful, but we did find a, uh, what was that mushroom we found? Oh, I, I found a truffle. Zeb found a truffle. Uh, we took lots of pictures and had a really good time. I still have it. Yeah, the season, you're gonna go show them? Yeah, it's really pretty inside when you the cut it season, open. The season it goes for another like 20-ish days. So after the grand opening, we may try again because we've never done it here before. So we're just learning stuff. That was basically a scouting event. Mariah says, I didn't know about Redrick. Sorry, Mariah. It was a crazy like day yesterday. A lot more went on yesterday than meets the eye. <laughs> All right, Plus, check, kids check have been out sick. my truffle. Can you guys see the, the ridges in there? I might cut it. Let me cut it and show you again. I haven't... I haven't figured out what to do with it. We've got a neighbor that's like a, he's like a, I don't know if he's a Michelin chef, but he's, he works at like a really high end. We're gonna just double check restaurant. that it is a truffle. You're gonna cut it. That's like a $200 truffle. Why are you making slices? I just wanna show him how pretty it is inside. Zeb just cutting $30 a truffle for you to see. It's probably more the kid's blurry. Okay, hang on. Look at, look at the rings in there. 
You best bag that situation up. I'm putting it back in the bag in the fridge. It's It's got a little paint on it now. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's just kind of cool. Mariah said she had a crazy day too. It must have been that kind of day. It felt like it. I was just like one thing after another, after another. I was just like, I'm just going to roll with the punches, smile about my day, and just be thankful that, you know, we he didn't, it wasn't worse. We could afford to take him in and have it fixed that the right doctor was there to handle it and he took care of it quickly. Yeah, the doctor, I do, I, the doctor took care of it at urgent care. It had like a, uh, without going into too much gory detail, uh, it like split it down the middle and it had like a tongue on it and he had to trim some of that up so that was it, it the big doctor with muscles no i don't think so what okay that's the one that my dad it's the I urgent mean, care that i take my dad to all the time seem extra muscly to me no there's a big there's like a big we call him dr muscles either way he was from lehigh <laughs> he does we were talking IVs. about lehigh football all the whole way through and he he went to school at lehigh when it was a 3a school oh my goodness that was a while ago <laughs> but anyway he he i was like are you going to be able to do this he's like i just need to check it out for a minute and he's just making sure there was no vascular damage or nerve damage he's like i think we'll be okay and he stitched it up and he's fine he'll be good so so on a if, brighter note <laughs> if this dries all the way you're not going to be able to um wet distress it the way that i'm doing it but this is still kind of tacky and so you can wet distress on hard surfaces when it's still tacky. But then once it cures all the way, it has a built-in top coat, so you're out of luck. So we are almost done with the big display. I need to trim it out. I, I, think, I think we've shown a few pictures of that in various social medias. Um, but that, that holds the paint and things. So paint is back in the shop and all of the IOD is up there. We still have to get um, the decoupage paper and stencils up yeah. and the clothing. So we're working on that today. All right, I'm gonna also need a rag, looks like. I don't think we're gonna use that vintage pink. Oh, and in the middle of the day, I took Renee to the airport in between live videos yesterday, between our channel member live and our business coaching live. Did you if take all the rags out If here? you're a channel member, either on YouTube or JRV subscriber on Facebook, um, definitely check out um, either the community or the Facebook group where we put links because we built a really fun display yesterday live. Yeah. Um, we're gonna finish that up today. And we are moving clothing displays over and hopefully clothing. We have mapped it out, what we need to do every day to be done and ready for our walk through with our landlord on Friday. My other sister is coming into town tomorrow and I think she's staying all day on Friday. So I'm going to try to really bust it the next couple days so I can spend some time with Are her. Are staying the night and coming to the game? Um, yeah, I think they're planning on it. I need to talk to her. She talked to Odelia. So Sweet. I got information. She tried to talk to me, but yesterday I just wasn't available <laughs> for various reasons. Zeb got to work in the shop and cut fabric yesterday. He's like, I don't know how to <laughs> so, run work the cash register. So this, this really nice lady came in. She's telling me about her double table, getting a runner. And yeah, I, I we've switched point of sale systems since I have ever worked at the shop. That was a long shop, time ago. I've only done it like once or twice before anyway. Um, I'm usually busy like building a house or tearing down a church and rebuilding that or whatever, you know. Anyway, so I don't work a lot in the shop. So she needs some fabric and she wants five and a half yards. I'm like, great. I cut her five and a half yards, give her a little extra because I wasn't sure that my cut was straight. So I did like five and two thirds yards. Anyway, we're going to check out and Ivy and I are there and we find the right fabric, get it all set up. And then I'm like, there's no way to do a half yard. So she got five and two thirds yards for the price of five yards because I was like, I don't know how to do that. We and discovered I'm not going to mess around with it. We can't do it online. Sell. We only sell in yards, but in the shop, we just do a custom sale and then we just take out a whole yard manually. And then when we get to the end of the row, we'll see how much we have in update inventory. Yeah. We're like the only place in town where you can Jack, buy. Jack, did you let the dogs out? I need them to be in their room. They're fine. All right. The first time Cody barks, though, because it will happen. All Someone right. will walk by and he'll bark. It's about Go every, upstairs in your playroom. every 20 minutes that dog barks. That's you okay, because we it. only have, well, I have about half an hour. 
I'm almost done with this. It's looking cool. I Jack think is this still is home sick. Need... Redrick's like, I got to go to school and show everybody my my cool. Redrick's <laughs> feeling better. There's like a cold going around. All right, so I'm just distressing some of these details. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll I bring told Caitlin you about your guys' uh, cutting fabric experience. I mean, we're not Joann's, but we do carry lots and lots of grain sack. And the word's going to get out. It's actually been selling quite a bit. Like, it's probably, other than maybe the paint, now that we've got that back up, the number one thing that's selling in the shop. Yeah, every day we sell. It seems like we're selling fabric. Yesterday we sold to two different people. And someone was like, I didn't even know you guys had this. I'm like, it's only been online. It used to just hang out. We just didn't have basement. space for it. And then we didn't have space to cut it, but now we have that big work table in the back. And so it's it's doing work. All right, I'm getting there. This is a little bit more work than wet distressing the other paint because it's not supposed to be wet Yeah, I'm distressed. just using a paper towel. Mine's coming right off. Well, you know. Uh, Dana says she loves the door display that we did on the channel member live. Oh, it's, think it's, it's even cooler. Now we put a bunch of, we put odds and ends and we've got these cubbies that I had from a CD rack and we put two so we can put paintbrushes in them. And then we put two sideways so we can put like the making powders and the Bohemian brights on them. It's, it takes us a little while much to some people's dismay because it, creativity is not to be rushed. Um, Are you talking to me? No. Uh, <laughs> it takes us a while to come up with displays, but they have to be just right. A, to fit the stuff that we need them to, and B, just for my I usually like, don't have time aesthetic. to come back around because we've got uh, we've got other projects in the pipe before we even finish the ones we're on. Today, we got to finish that pile of stuff over there. After this live, I'll get a base coat. So if you haven't been shipped your item from the last two thrift hauls that need to be painted, if it hasn't been shipped yet, it's probably because I need to paint it because we were hunting last week. So I'm going to get that done today. Dana says, I might need to order grain sack. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, it's really difficult to find. And we have a pretty good selection. And it's, it's, we, it's 60 inches it's like wide or 59 inches wide. We, we measured it for somebody yesterday. I yeah, made it, all of it, our curtains. It feels kind of like a duck cloth or is it just actual grain sack? It's actual grain sack fabric, but it's new. So it's the same consistency. All right. So bringing all that detail back out. I need black wax or dark wax. But it looks a lot cleaner now. It was, it had like some scratches and different things going on. And then <clears throat> I can't decide if I want to leave this marble. The, the, the hole in the center doesn't really, I'm fine with that. Because honestly, let me, we'll find something to put on there in a minute when Jamie gets back. <clears throat> I have some clay that's in a just like baggy if you need it. All right, so let's see if this one is dried up enough. You know, this could actually be good with some dark wax, too. That'll give it a real French country look. I have black wax I'm getting. All right. That still needs more. I don't know why when I'm looking for clear wax, all I can find is dark wax. And when I'm looking for darker black, all I can find is clear. But I found black. If you heard me shuffling around on my mic. I was victorious. Okay, I'm going to go set this out in the sun. I that contrast there. You yeah, think I, said, be better, I said dark wax. Okay. So I was already ready for your you're gonna need critique. To, you're going to need some of that clear wax. You were ready. Uh -huh. You were headed. So I'm, I am going to clear wax it first, and then I'll dark wax it. But I'm going to go set this out in the sun, so hopefully this glue dries up good. It's it's mostly stuck on there, but I don't know that it can handle me aggressively painting it. Normally, I would seal this before I dark wax it. And I'll have Zeb. I'm going to have to have him show you up th this up close because it's super heavy. But the um, Cottage Color has built-in sealer. So you don't have to do that step. You just put the wax. And I find, um, I do think that the wax does work better than the dark and decrepit. The dark and decrepit, I generally have to come back and do a dry brush of the base color just to kind of clean it up. The wax works pretty good. Zeb, can you show them this up close? This yeah. one side that I've done. Mm -hmm. You can show them the difference between black wax and not black wax. Um, mine is not a lamp base. I thought that it was, and Zeb reminded me that this is a table base where the glass broke. Okay, so that's And some Zeb's wax. is a lamp. And that's not wax. Marnie, if you want to paint corbels, I suggest making sure they're dark underneath and you can do like milk paint over the top and make them chippy. So if you search up Jamie Ray Vintage Chippy Paint, you can probably find some videos that'll show you how to achieve that look 
Um, I have, I happen to have some corbels back here that we did for a craft kit last year. And um, I can show you, this is milk paint on raw MDF with just dark and decrepit underneath. So we have videos that show you how to do that. So if you search those up, that'll give you some good information for your corbel project. Let's see if I can, there we go. Do, do, do. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so this is not a wax brush, but it's one I found that doesn't have white wax all over it. <clears throat> that is a wax brush. It is now. No, it has been. It's had clear wax on it. I de I made it into a wax brush. <laughs> Do we still have IOD transfers? Uh, we should. Depends on which one you're talking about. Unless we've we sold have out. all of the ones except for the holiday ones. Well, the Christmas one, I think we still have a few, unless they sold out when I made the announcement we were getting low like 20 minutes ago. Do you have a list of the paints we use? Um, usually, we put them in the description box. But if you go to jamierayvintage.com. All the paint we use is on there. So it depends on the project you're talking about. It really just depends on what color you want. The The cottage colors, which is what Jamie is using, is a single step. It's got a built-in sealer in it. And we've got five colors of that currently. It's a newer product. We're trying to get more colors, hopefully, by you know end of year. We'll see how that goes. Um, we're working on that with DIY Paint, who is manufacturing it with us. Um, well, they're manufacturing and we're just picking colors. Let's, yeah, we just pick colors. <laughs> and and I actually, I didn't even design this label. I just amended it a little. Um, and then the DIY paint, which is what I used, is more of like a clay-based paint. Sticks. Both of these paints stick to just about anything. Minimal prep, if, if any at all. Just make sure your piece is clean and go. And then we also have milk paint, which... They're, uh, that that's like a food safe paint that you can use on furniture or or even like kitchen items. We use it a lot on like rolling pins and all kinds of stuff. If you go to YouTube and you search our videos on there, if you go to the description box, we always list the products used with links yeah. on the bottom, and that's your best bet. That's the easiest way. And usually, I some back in the day, I didn't always list colors, but I try to list all the colors now. So Sherry says, I painted the top of my picnic basket with cottage colors. Now I want a decoupage. Will it stick? Absolutely. Yep. Sticks just, really well to We the use it color. as a base color for cottage or for um, decoupage all the time. In fact, we just used it on the video last week, yep. right? On the dresser that we did. We did a video before we went out of town hunting and we did decoupage. All right. So I clear wax this. Going to let that sit for a minute or two. And then I'm going to pass it over to Jamie and she can dark wax it. All right. Am I the dark wax station? So the reason I wax this is because the DIY paint does not have a sealer in it. It's porous. And if we go straight with the dark wax over the top of that paint without clear waxing it first, it's going to suck in that dark wax and we won't be able to wipe it back very well. And it'll really change the color of the piece more than we want. It's going to make it look dirtier than we want. We want it to be decrepit, but not like disgusting. Okay. Like I think I'm going to go this little guy. This I mean, thing is so dang heavy. This is just, yeah, it's like solid plaster. Um, I think we're just going to leave this just like this. I don't know that it needs anything. It can just be a cool architectural salvage piece. It looks like a candlestick all on its own. You could probably even put a taper on top of here if you melted a little wax and then stuck it on. But I think I'm going to go with the paint blue on this one and see what we get with the contrast with the two. They pair nicely together. This is white swan and this is paint blue. We get a lot of questions. What's the difference between dark wax and black wax? Dark wax is a brown color and dark wax or black wax is black. So I'm using dark actually. I thought it was black, but it's dark. So it's just a preference. I forgot to mention milk paints are like pretty chipping. Like if you want like a real salvage look that doesn't look like you just painted it. That's that's a go-to for us. They're all pretty versatile paints, though. Like I was just, I'm sitting here thinking about all the things you can do with all these paints. All the things we have done. <laughs> all the things like, maybe like, we shouldn't like have done. Like the DIY paint is easy to blend. Right, it's good. really thick. You know, you can build up texture and layers. And... That one's done. 
We've been using the uh, cottage colors outside, um, varying degrees of success, but I think some of that is just where it's at. The table. Metal, it sticks to really well. Yeah, the table that we did is doing okay, but there was like some grease on the table, and so it's come off in that spot. I just need to repaint it. I actually think Tomatillo Sticky got on it. Tomatillo Sticky, well, there. If you've ever brought Tomatillos, they have some weird sticky situations. But we did make some delicious green Salsa sauce. Salsa Verde. Or green sauce, however you want to call it. In I'm, the, I'm north of the border. It's green sauce. We've been uh, <laughs> canning in the wee hours of the morning because it's the harvest waits on no one. And we work too long and too hard to get a harvest to not use it. So that we canned. I made like a, what is it? A it's, beef soup. By the time we had it for dinner and then we canned it. So I probably made about 14 quarts of vegetable beef stew, which we used a bone broth because a lot of bouillon has gluten in it. So we used a chicken bone broth. We used quinoa. Quinoa instead of barley because my mom's recipe calls for barley and that's gluten. Um, no sugar added. So it's it's Zeb approved for my Hashimoto's diet. Yeah. And then we made pear butter with honey and it's really good on come up bread. So that's been, been yummy. All right. Jamie's, Where's that marble? Let's see if it pairs better now that I that look darkened. better. I think so. I like it. I think it looks good. I gave it a, not too much grunge, but enough that it actually looks old instead of someone didn't paint it good. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure it's down in all the cracks. I'm just going to keep painting things and passing them to you with the wax. All assembly line. Mm -hmm. It keeps you busy while I'm chatting with my friends. How much weight have you lost? Uh, 35 pounds? Yeah. I've, so since May, just, you know, some of it's probably fixing the thyroid. I'm, ta I'm taking uh, like a Synthroid. I would say that's probably a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of regulated my metabolism. But I'm also eating like super clean. Um, most, most of the carbs are cut out. I do eat like corn tortillas, corn chips, because I'm not eating any gluten. But I am still getting some carbs from things like that and some vegetables. Um, and then no processed sugars. And I'm trying to avoid uh, like artificial sweeteners as well. Um, we have tried out monk fruit and coconut yes, sugar, the artificial. which seem to. He can't have sugar alcohol. His body. I don't sugar know alcohol, until, man. It will wreck like a, him. Let's just say um, I don't have to take any probiotics if I eat any sugar alcohol. Things are moving. So um, we have discovered that if I use coconut sugar, which is an unrefined, it's still going to spike your blood sugar if you're diabetic. So if you're diabetic, it's not going to help you. And it's not keto. But we're not doing keto. and We're not diabetic. We're just trying to find more natural ways to eat. So we use coconut sugar. And he seems to tolerate that pretty well. And it tastes good. So also maple syrup, organic maple syrup. And we're trying to do, we're using lots of local honey and organic if we can find it. It's not that easy to find good organic honey that actually tastes good ironically um Dor dory <laughs> if you want to add it you'll need to email info at jamierayvintage.com caitlin can drop the email if she has a second um and then see and see if she can just add it on there as long as they haven't already shipped it so um and so, it's remember that jamierayvintage.com is j-a-m-i no e because that if you email info at jamierayvintage and you put an e on the end of jamie it won't go through yeah, we've had that happen a few times. Um, sugar alcohol can be used as a colon cleanse. Sure can. What about molasses? Yes, molasses. We I actually just have a huge gallon of organic unsulfured molasses. I have found that if I go online, I can get huge like quantities of basic ingredients for less expensive. So the coconut sugar, the organic molasses. I just got a huge bucket of cocoa because if we do anything chocolate, um, we have to start at the cocoa level because any of the sugar-free chocolate chips all have sugar alcohol in it. So you can't tolerate it. So we're trying to get figure things out uh, before Jamie's, the Jamie's, holiday season. I'm fine just like eating fruit and vegetables, um, but Jamie's insistent that I get some treats this holiday season. 
She I loves like baking. To eat alone. So, you know, we talked earlier about getting ready to go to France story time here. She's like, we're in the truck going over to the shop this morning to kind of clean it out so we can move some other stuff over. And she's 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 like, I think we I think I really want to go to France still because we were going to put it off until the spring because we just it's been crazy opening the shop and we've been super busy and and it's been quite expensive opening the shop, too. Um, but she's like, I think, it, I think we can manage it with the budget and we'll, we usually make back more than what we spend. Cause we go junking the whole time we're there. It's like a workcation. And I'm like, well, if we don't go to France, your other option for your 40th birthday was the copper KitchenAid mixer. And this girl here likes to bake and cook so much, but she was like, if we make enough money, when we go to France, can I still get the mixer? <laughs> she was like, she was like, oh. That, I didn't know you were going to get me that because it's a lot of money. It's not cheap. And I was like, yeah, that works for a 40th birthday present. But, you know, it just makes more work for her because, she. I mean, it's a lot of work to use mixers and bake and do those things. But well, she the, loves it. The um, the mixer that we have, we've had for a, a while since we redid our last kitchen. So About like four five years, years, five years. It's, it's getting a little tired already. It needs to be have an overhaul, but I can't drop it off at the shop. Like I have to have a replacement because I, if it's at the shop two weeks or a month, what am I going to do? So I figure I will definitely not get rid of it. We'll have it overhauled and fixed. And then I'll just give it to like Odelia is going to be turning 18 soon. Although she says she's not leaving the house. So, but we'll just keep it as a backup. And then I'll just give it to my kids because they really want the copper one. It's a total extravagant situation, but I'm like, she's this is always... how I get things I want. I'm like, listen, if I make X amount of stuff from scratch, I save this many dollars and that will pay for the mixer. That's Jamie math. <laughs> that's how I negotiate things. I even said, well, maybe we could fly economy, but Zeb's poor legs couldn't handle economy for 12 hours. I mean, I'd be, I'd live, but I am getting to that fun age where if I sit too long, I have, tr like, I gotta, I gotta like stretch and warm up before I start walking. <laughs> yeah. So we're thinking about flying directly into Marseille because that's the side of France we want to shop on and we'd only be gone eight days. So we don't have a ton of travel time. So we're doing some research. The nanny is booked. She apparently was not completely exhausted from the last time she came. So we'll see. We'll see. It's it's. I think she had a good time that. when she was here with the kids. They enjoy our kids, and you know they've got a little guy themselves now. Um, and we have a pool. I think I don't know. Did she even say if they used the pool while we were gone? I don't think that they did, but they used it when we got back. My sister Renee was here. She said maybe I should start baking. Uh, no, <laughs> Renee, I did send you with some keto brownies that Zeb can't have, so you can bake those. That counts. I, if I had more time, I always tell Zeb like I would make such a good housewife. She keeps telling me this. I'm like, all right, I guess we'll uh, we'll sell all the things, and you can just do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Our goal in 10 years, though, is to be able to like completely have every, everybody employed to run the business. And then we just want to have some land with some cows and then junk and make displays. I keep looking at that land out in Delta that has water. I, I just don't picture us living out in the middle of nowhere. We just have to make enough money in the next 10 years that we can get like four or five acres here. Oh, I don't even know if you can find four or five. I acres. know where some is. <laughs> it's just not for sale, but I'm pretty good at buying things that aren't for sale. Yeah. You all right. Are. Look how, show them this one up close. Okay. All right. We need to get some paint on this. This is still not be cured. Careful. The hot glue is kind of doing its thing, but I put so much in that it's no longer adhering to the bottom. It's just building up on the top. So the construction, adhere I don't know. I think let's just go with the theme in case someone wants like to so white, pair them. Which brush did you use white? Okay. All right. Let me tone that back. That looks a little bright. There we go. That's more Janice says I've earned the KitchenAid 10 times over. Well, for a while, you couldn't even find him. Yeah, she's... Oh! I told you. I know. I tried to warn you. I don't know. It needs more glue. I don't know that that's going to work. Yeah, Truvia has sugar alcohol in it, too. See, look what's happening. What? Oh, that's a... <laughs> Sorry. Sure, but then... I didn't mean to do that. And we have found that if Zeb can control himself, that he does okay with kamut flour, which is an ancient grain. It's a little bit more expensive, but he can eat bread. If he eats like two slices, the other day I made kamut pancakes and he had 10. That doesn't work for him. So, so it was, it was before church and I have an early morning meeting. I used to make breakfast all the time. And so, but I go to the meeting now and Jamie made some pancakes while I was at my meeting. I come home 
to pick everybody up and go back to church. And we, uh, and we were, uh, the, the pancakes were sitting there and it was like seven or eight of them left or and, 10. and they're kind of thin because the commute just doesn't rise like a tra traditional flour does. And I'm like, all right. So I plow through like seven or eight of those pancakes. We get about like halfway through sacrament meeting and I'm like, Jamie, Jimmy, I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, I wasn't making it. <laughs> did you walk home or did you take the golf? Cart? No, I, I walked home quickly. Okay. Cause I, I thought you had taken a vehicle and Eliza, no dad didn't take the golf cart. I drove the golf cart home. So good thing you made it home. Have you tried Ancorn? Not yet. Um, I have heard about it cause I follow farmhouse on Boone. I don't know exactly where I'd pick it up. I, I love the food nanny and her store is in Salt Lake. And so we just go there. It's funny because I bought four 25 pound bags and they're like, cause they finally they were got rid of the it. rationing. And they're like, now, you know, this is not food storage. It's not going to keep for years. It has to be used in like seven to eight months. And I was like, dude, I could use four bags of flour in two months. <laughs> no problem. We go through quite a bit. I keep it actually, you can see I've started now that I know that he can tolerate, I keep it out here instead of in the pantry because it's just easier than going back and forth. And a lot of my recipes are just water, salt, yeast, and um, flour for bread. And so that's just easier to have it right there. Yeah, I, I look into coconut sugar. If you're diabetic, it's not going to help you. But if you're looking for more natural sugars, coconut sugar is great. Um, we made bread and butter pickles with it. And like I said, we made pear butter with it. It was pretty yummy. Um, and it is a little darker, so it's going to change the color. So if you're worried about the color of things, I can't help you. So, so at least from my research and from what my doctors also told me with Hashimoto's, you want to eliminate like inflammatory type foods. Um, so gluten, uh, processed sugars, both really inflammatory. Sometimes dairy, depending on the way your body yeah, handles some it. Some dairy. My body has no problems with dairy. I can drink gallons of milk a day and I'm fine. Um, we do we do drink like the organic whole milk. Um, so it's not been processed down either. Um, As much. Well, yeah. We're, we love uh, raw milk, but we can only get that on Thursdays and we'd love to have a cow. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to glue this when I'm done painting it. Yeah, probably. I'm trying. Um and so like honey and maple syrup are both antioxidants and they, they bring that down, like the inflammatory down. And they have a, like their superfoods and we do local honey. So it's good with allergies too. We do Utah honey. I love how like every time we're live, we talk about food, we talk about food, like every time. Well, it's, it's because like a, everybody wants it's to like know a, what we're doing for our diet and health situation right now. Cause we do, we try a lot of things. So we have, know, food we're over, Jamie and I are both over researchers. I thought you were going to say we're both overweight. Also true. <laughs> both over researchers. <laughs> You're looking great, sweetie. Oh, thanks. I'm a little fluffy, but you know, I'm I'm snuggable. Yeah. Um. So this is. I'm just showing you guys some options here. I pulled this off. This is a tiny little crock with the, just like a beeswax candle, um, and then I think like some floral would be cool on here too. Um. But it's just like a nice pedestal. If you had like a, a small cloche would be good on there. Let me see what else I can find. What else does Jamie have laying around? Nightshade fruits can be inflammatory. Which fruits are those? I don't know what nightshade fruits are. I know like you shouldn't have bell peppers if they if you're worried about nightshade, I think. Oh, look at that. Nobody's getting my candlestick. Fancy. Well, Take. you got wax all on. Uh, You've been burning these beeswax candles. I know, but the, I got bought that in the back alley of France. Kathy yeah, had did. to negotiate for those. And every time people see them in pictures, they're like, do you sell those? And I'm like, not these ones. I'll sure. look next time I go to France to see if I can find more copper. Oh, fresh peaches or blackberries and organic whole milk. I need. My neighbor has some peaches and nectarines they said we could have and some... Um, apples. We just got to have time to deal with them. We have pears coming. I can't be picking nobody's fruit until I deal with my pear situation. Yeah, we've, we got to do, we got, we got a bunch that are going to go cause like pears and apples. And I think bananas too, they off gas as they ripen and whatever's around them also ripens really fast. So if you got a bucket of pears, which I happen to have a five gallon bucket of we pears, we have a bucket of there, pears and a double. It's like pears. all off gassing on itself and they, 
theirs getting super ripe fast. I got to deal with them. The pear tree is at the church and it was there when we bought it. We're going to trim it up this year and feed it so that way next year they're even healthier. All right. Can you glue that and heat gun it and then let's dirty wax it and then we'll be done. And we have 10 minutes. Do a dirty wax. You want me to dirty wax it? <clears throat> I also have golden tickets. So when this all dries, <laughs> I might come back. Or sorry, golden rule. It's a gold gilding wax. I might come back and add a little bling to these where we got a little dull. Um, <clears throat> I think that would be fun. So we were going to put molds on these, but I don't think we need to. I think they're pretty good. We had the IOD out. We were ready to slap some cool molds on these. Um, definitely an option. But if you see an old tired lamp or something sitting around, um, start looking like they usually have good bases like this and then some pieces like this in between. This is, I mean, we probably would have picked this up at the thrift store. I probably wouldn't have paid more than 10 bucks. It was in pretty rough shape. And like I said, it needed rewired. But and it didn't have a lampshade or anything like that with it. Um, this one happened to be dropped off on our back porch, but just something to keep in mind when you're looking at those old lamps, even some of the shorter ones that are like this piece that Jamie did. Um, you can still get some great architectural pieces out of there, and they don't need to always be lamps. And this could probably be a functioning candlestick again, yeah. Because you could actually, what I would do is I would take a like a heat gun and heat gun the bottom of the candlestick, warm it up, and then where the, there's like little threaded piece here where the, um, the wires. wires used to be, you could put it down on that and that would hold your candlestick in place. And then the same thing with this. You could definitely use those beeswax candles. That would be beautiful. I need to do some tablescapes for the fall. I'll, for those of you that don't like Halloween, we'll call it fall decorating, but I have black candlesticks that I want to put in my tarnished silver um, candelabras. And then I have giant spiders and bats that I like to decorate with. So that's going to be coming out probably in the next couple of we weeks. We don't go too say. crazy. Some people transform their whole house for Halloween. Yeah, I don't make <laughs> it scary. I just make it look, you know, decrepit. And we have <laughs> the uh, the Halloween papers. Those have been flying out the door. So I, I, if you've got them, you know, I'd love to see some projects you guys are doing with those. Drop them in the Jamie Ray Vintage group. Um, that's a really good place. Tag us. Um, you can tag Jamie Ray Vintage in there now. We, Jamie Ray, our business page wasn't part of the group. <laughs> we, we, I'm, I was logged into the group because Facebook changed it so that you can be logged into one or the or your personal page. And so I mostly just stay logged into the business side. And so I'm not seeing all the tags when people tag me. We're getting there. All right, that's. that's I guess dry. we can slide this over. I'll, you clear what you went to stress it with this one. Clear wax and I'll dark wax it. I'm just setting up our little vignette here. Um, you know, somebody I'm had a question try. about stamp masks. So stamp, not yeah, stamp masks. Sorry, um, with IOD, they just so sometimes you want to layer your stamps, right? But if you stamp and stamp and stamp and stamp, it gets really dirty. The lines intersect. It doesn't look good. So you put your stamp on, then you put a mask over the top that's the same shape as that stamp, and all the new IODs come with them. And we do sell just the masks if you have an old IOD that needs a mask. But anyways, you put that over the top of it and then you can stamp and it basically protects the stamp underneath. So it looks like they're layered, but not overlapping, if that makes sense. So that's what stamp masks do. We have used them a couple of times. We just haven't had. We have so many products that we use that we just don't have time to do them all. All right. I need some hot glue sticks. Let's see if there's any other questions. Oh, um, acorn flour you can get at Corrosion Mill in Pleasant Grove. Thanks, Kim. We'll check that out. I'm always looking for new ways. Um, kamut seems to work pretty good with Zeb. Like my sister said, she ate the soup and she had a couple slices of the kamut bread and it did not raise her blood sugar. And my sister is a diabetic and has a struggle with, she eats so good and has a struggle with her um, blood sugar level. So she's always looking for things that she can eat that are healthy for her. And the reason why kamut is so much better, especially for people with problems with blood sugar, is because it's high in protein and it is an ancient grain. So it has been modified the way that um, grains have in the modern days. Like so many people have problems with intolerance with gluten. And a lot of that is derived from the fact that all of the flours have been modified. So disclaimer, into it. do your own research. Yeah. This is what works for us. And we've tried several different things. Exactly. And it might be different for your body. Like we, we ain't doctors. I feel like the best piece of advice we could give people though is do research, but then also listen to your body because there's not a one size fits all. Like, I feel like you have to try a lot of things. Like I can have two pancakes, not eight. 
yeah, we've discovered that. Um, if you want to use the paint and products that we sell, um, you, you can visit this. jamierayvintage.com. And I'm going to wax this real quick. Did you wet distress it already? No. Careful with the top. It's still not. It's, it's not. still drying. We 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 should have. I wanted to show doing it, but now in retrospect, I'm like I could have just told them we glued it on there, and we should. I don't have know. Sometimes it it's good to see it in action, right? Yeah. I really do like this piece. We have to clear wax this first. So I need a clear wax brush. I got it right here. Hopefully, you know, we got we got like one more big push here. And then we'll be getting back to some <laughs> I'm taking fun a deep furniture breath. videos. We were really, you know, before we started uh, really going full out on the the shop slash church project and renovating it. We were do, we were really starting to play with a lot of texture and Gustavian finishes and French uh, French country style finishes, and I want to get back to that because that's that does well for us. Those those videos are fun, and I just like the look. If we, I guarantee you that if we go to France, we'll come back with some fun new fresh ideas because there's nothing like seeing it in person. Do you need to wipe that off a little, or are you just going to go with the dark wax? Huh? Just going. All right. Just, just going. My my rags slightly damp too, so that helps pull it back. So this is so there was a long this shaft here was what was next. There was a little thing here that we've since repurposed. Actually, no, maybe that was next. And then this was up here. Yeah, there we go. That's how it was. Um and there was a big rod coming down through the whole thing that that held it all together but i repurposed that in there to put those pieces because i flipped it this piece used to be up on top because everything faced up and i made this the base uh, that's coming together good yeah, i will let it cool all the way and then i will probably come back and do some more waxing but they get the general idea oops flipping stuff around here okay all right. Do you want to do a pan of projects? Um. Yeah. Let's bring them all close, and I'll zoom in so they can see them good. <laughs> I was never so glad that we distressed stuff than when we moved because stuff bangs together when you move it. So we'll it get a good just... pick and put that on the socials. Let me back that down. That seems bright. We're just natural light today. The sun's coming in through the windows. Good. There's a little darker so you guys can actually see what the wax has done in the different shades. And you can see the difference between the haint blue and the white, too. It's subtle, but there's definitely a difference. Ta-da! All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, yeah. guys. We we have been having a ton of fun. We've been crazy busy. You know, we thought we were busy when we started <laughs> building this house, and, you know, we've... This, this project has equaled, if not exceeded that busyness because the kids are all older and doing more things. And it was not as big a project, but we did we had half the time. Yeah, third, and we're still not done, time. so that's the thing. It's definitely yeah. harder to get uh, displays built once the shop is open. Yeah, and people so are coming in and shopping and chit-chatting. We've been they, having they fun. Want, they ask everybody. questions about product and I love talking with people. So, you know, that always takes a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a fabulous Wednesday and make over some junk. Okay. Uh, you got to end it over oh, there. Oh, I got to end it over there. I don't know why I thought it was up there. <laughs> We're out of practice. We've been gone.